want to talk about some more specific strategies. I want to go through a specific leasing agreement. I want you to know that because even though you will hire an attorney when you do leases, there is nothing more powerful than being able to discuss that with an attorney and being able to say, well, I want this clause in here and this clause in there and I'll go through it. It's a bit boring sometimes, but believe me, it's very exciting when you have a tenant that's going to pay you millions of dollars through the years and you have the right wording there. I have a situation where I wrote a lease just recently with somebody and it said, I will give you this notice and if you don't pay on the 11th day, I don't have to give you any more notices. I have the right to take over the property. You know how powerful that is? So on the 11th, I, I called him. I said, I'm taking over the property. I didn't have to say him, tell him you're late again. And he said, well, you, you don't have the right to do, read the contract, you know, paragraph two. So these are very important nuances. I'll show you. Uh, so the lease will be later on. And I'll talk about sublease. Because if you have no money and you want to start, or your money's stuck somewhere, or whatever you're doing, lease and sublease is a huge way for you to make a lot of ongoing income. What's the end goal of wealth, really? It's to have income. You have the income, it's like the oxygen of the financial world. And leasing something at 7,000 and subleasing it at 12, you get 5,000 a month. You see my point? That's residual income.